Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a self-care video, self-care vlog. I'm doing all the things, all the girly things, all of the pampering, extra things. I'm doing my nails. I'm actually doing them at home. Um, I've been trying to do that. So I'll show you guys doing my nails and painting those. I'm about to put on some eye masks. I'm gonna take a shower, exfoliate, do my self tanner, um, all the things. And then tomorrow I'm getting micro needles. So I'm a firm believer so I'm a firm believer that self-care starts from within and being the best version of yourself, being the most healthy version of yourself and all the things definitely starts from within and how you take care of yourself mentally and physically and how you feed yourself or how you eat and what you do in your morning. There are plenty of studies that show what you do in the morning is extremely important to not only the rest of your day, but your life and your mental health and your well-being. So I like to start off my day every morning by doing my devotional and just having some quiet time to myself before starting the day. I don't do this every single day just because sometimes whenever I wake up, I have um, fun beauty tasks or I have YouTube tasks or emails or things that I need to get to pretty urgently. But I always do have my devotional time and I think that it's extremely important. Um, and I can tell a big difference whenever I skip out or whenever I don't do it until later in the day. So my advice to you is to start a morning routine um, where you do that and where you make that a priority. I've talked about my devotional plenty of times before, but it is the Jesus Calling Morning and Evening by Sarah Young. And then I also have always talked about my little strawberry um, notebook. And so every day I write down usually my prayers, my thoughts, all my things in my notebook. And I love it. But I also picked up a notebook from Amazon that is just a little tiny notebook um but I write down my plans in it if there's something that needs to be done um I wrote down my videos I wrote down my Sunday school lesson because I was supposed to teach Sunday school but ended up not being able to um but anyways that's it so I'm gonna hop in the shower and have a nice like relaxing shower sometimes if you want to make it a little bit more special you can use some essential oils um and the steam will diffuse it and you just get like a nice spa like experience which is really obviously nice um so i'm gonna hop in the shower exfoliate myself put on a little bit of moisturizer and then pop back over here for self tanner which i'm not going to show you my full routine in this i will do a separate video on that but i want to be tan i have some videos to film today and i have some other things to do so yeah I also forgot to mention I am drinking my smoothie. Every day whenever I get done working out, I have this smoothie. Even if I'm taking a rest day, I have it. So it has my bone broth collagen protein as well as just regular collagen protein in it. And then it has um, organic juice and then organic um, fruits. So a lot of people were like, well, what's the point of organic? They just aren't grown with pesticides uh, in the different farms and things like that. And also the ingredients are usually a whole lot better. There's not sugar. It'll literally just be the fruits frozen. So I get my fruit from Aldi because they have the best deal, but get it wherever you want. Just try to pick the best fruit or buy your own fruit at a farmer's market or whatever and then freeze it. I look a little crazy. Anyways, oh, good morning, Booney. It's the next day, obviously. Maybe not obviously, but it's the next day. And look at this very handsome puppy. Oh, he's so very tired. Yes, he's so tired. He's got so many burrs in him. We have to get him groom now anyways so it's the next day like i said and i self-tanned yesterday i used the loving tan because i always use the loving tan and now i'm going to do some emails today where's my phone um i have my micro needling appointment appointment it is uh 9 30 and i'm going to send some emails and stuff i have to leave a little bit early because i need to go to the post office and drop off some orders i tried to do my nails this morning and it was a literal disaster so, you know, um, anyways, I'm going to go to my microneedling appointment and then probably meet a friend for lunch. I might go to Goodwill or like a thrift store in Lexington while I'm up there. I have to run to the mall because my mom wants me to exchange her airy leggings. Hold on, I need my finger. Uh, she wants me to exchange her airy leggings and I was like, yeah, sure, like whatever, I'll do that. <laughs> because I want to go to Abercrombie as well. So, I may, it just depends on what I want, you know, like, oh, my finger's covering up, what I want to do once I get there, because sometimes I'm all excited, and sometimes I'm not excited at all once I get to Lexington, so, but I know for sure I'm going to be eating core life, because I love, love, love core life, and I know for sure I'm going to get Starbucks, because 
I'm not going to drive somewhere that has Starbucks and not get it. If you don't know, where I live, we do not have Starbucks. It's like 25, 30 minutes away is the closest one. Um, it's going to be a no for me on that. So, my lips are so, so dry. I mean, like, crusty, might fall off my face kind of dry. So, I've been putting Aquaphor on them because it's the only thing that helps whenever my lips are super dry. And I'm going to do some emails, like I said. I think I said that. And... I'll keep you guys updated. So this is super random, but I figured I would show you guys some uh, PR things that I got or things I got in PR. Okay, so this brand from New York sent me, they actually messaged me and they were like, hey, we would love to send you these. And so I had always seen these on like the Kardashians, you know, you know. And so they sent me these and I got to pick out like which ones I wanted. So they come in this really pretty uh, velvet box and I picked the black ones and then I picked white roses and they smell so good. Like you can smell them as soon as you open it. And they're Ecuadorian. Is that the right word? They're from, the roses from Ecuador. And so they're like supposed to be the highest quality roses and they smell so nice and they look so nice. I love the packaging. And so I was like, that would be a really good gift for somebody. Like, cause a lot of people love to sit these like on their beauty counters or just like have them as decor and you can turn it around if you didn't want to see the logo or whatever it is. Um, but a wedding present or really anything, it'd be super nice. And so they gave me a coupon code too, which I was like oh thank you so if you guys want it i think it's katie fawn 15 i'll leave it on the screen or i'll leave it in the description box below um but yeah i thought that was really nice so incredibly bougie this company sent me a louis vuitton little backpack which is absolutely insane so i can have their information whenever you do like pr uh they always a lot of companies will reach out and say like hey we would love to send you stuff to be featured in pr and so this company literally sent me this louis vuitton little backpack and uh it comes with all you know all the goodies here are the straps and well these are the straps and it's stunning so yeah i'm really excited i thought that was really nice anna claire wants it because she's crazy she's a crazy seven year old but they sent that to me i can put their name the seller's name on the um screen and then also all the information will be down in the description box for you all i've looked better i've also looked worse I'm sitting outside Core Life currently. Here's my food. Um, but I'm sitting at Core Life, outside of Core Life in Lexington because I came here, obviously, to get my food. And my face is so numb. My lips are so numb. I'm so bruised under my eyes. But that's a good thing because, I, well, not the bruising, but it's a good thing that we went hard on my under eyes because I wanted to be, like, plumper and just overall look, I don't know, better. So, I'm sitting outside here. My friend Katie Haley is working at Bellevue across the summit. And so, I'm waiting on her uh, to get done working. And we're going to grab um, probably Starbucks and go to the mall and then get our nails done, I think. But I have some time to kill prior to that happening. So, that's what I'm waiting on. Okay. I'm in the mall. There's like literally not many people here at all because I mean it's a random Wednesday. My face is still so numb. And I got Starbucks obviously. Brown sugar oat milkshake and espresso. But they had nothing. And I just came to exchange my mom's leggings. So I'm leaving and I look crazy. I think I'm scaring people. Okay, I'm going, now I'm going to Ulta. Bro, my face. It's, it's felt better. Honestly, it has. Uh, it's just my freaking lips. Like, my lips are so numb. And I could feel under my mask. And, like, of course I was finna wear a mask. Not even for COVID purposes at this point. Just the fact I look crazy. Uh, anyways. Um, I could feel, like, my nose was running. And I was like, I think my nose was running. And then I was like, mm, I can't feel anything, though. And then I looked and my lip was, like, literally covered my snot. Love that for me, honestly. But in a few days, I'll be a glowing goddess with extra hydration and collagen. Na, 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 na. Anyway, I'm still waiting on Katie to get done with her appointments, her clients. And so I was like, I'll just run to Ulta. I need to return some stuff anyway. I have like over 30 minutes. And then I called Anthony Vince and was like, we want to make an appointment. And they said, we don't know if we can make an appointment. And so I was like, so if I get stuck in 5 o'clock traffic, which I think I'm going to, I'm going to scream. My tanner is messed up because I have PRP all over my face. Ugh. Anyways, I also got a lot done. Thank my lovely fiance. He's such a nice human. I love him so much. Thanks to him, I got so much. Well, we got so much done. Um, 
yesterday and the day before with Fawn Beauty stuff, just getting orders out from literally December where, uh, I don't know if I talked about this on YouTube, but my manufacturer didn't send us 2,000 ones. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Anyway, also, what was I going to say? Um, I'll probably vlog the rest of the day and then end the vlog. But I was at my appointment and my friend Caitlin, you know the one, James, uh, she always gets filler. She's had like jaw filler, chin filler, uh, cheek filler, lip filler. If there's a filler, if there's a tox to be gotten, she's had it. And so I was asking them, I was like, I've always wanted to try filler. And if I don't like it, I'll literally just get it dissolved. Like, that's that. And it's not like I want to change my appearance completely or anything like that. I just thought it might be neat to get under my under eyes because I think a lot of people have questions about it or like they don't know much about filler and so they just don't get it or like don't try it because they're just like uneducated. You know what I mean? Like it can be scary if you don't know about it. So I was like, why don't I freaking crap? I went down the, what am I doing with my life? I can get there from here. I can get there from here. I just made the complete wrong turn. Complete wrong turn. I'm drunk. Anyways. Uh, what was I even talking about? A lot of people don't know about filler, and I don't really know that much about filler either. And so I was like, why don't I just try it and see if I like it or not? I don't have to get much. And then the place I go, Jazzy Aesthetic, the place I like get my uh, microneedling and stuff, they do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And Lacey, the girl who does everything, uh, has just, she does it every day, all day long. Like, that's her, you know, job. Then I just crashed my car again. And so I was like, I should talk to her about it while she's doing my microneedling. So we talked about it and she brought her baby there and her baby's so cute. But anyway, um, she was like, yeah, I think you would like to get cheek filler here. Like, because I'm really hollow under here, just like genetically. And then chin filler because she said, and I was like, chin filler, excuse me, what? Uh, she said that it's, it makes your face more asymmetrical or it makes, makes your face a little bit more symmetrical or makes your face like look better from the side so like your side profile can you even see me like your side profile will look better so I was like bet so I might do that I don't know let me know let me know and she was telling me about like the different types of filler and stuff and normally they charge $9.50 for a syringe of filler um and I would get a full syringe is what she said and we would split it up in different areas and then save it um but I get the employee discount, so I get, like, more than half off, so, I don't know. I was like, should I try this for the YouTube purposes? I don't know, but also for my own purposes. I'm at Ulta, so I'm going to run an Ulta, um, pick up some things, exchange some things, some doodads, this, that, and the others, you know what I mean? Sorry. Maybe I'll show you if they have anything cool in here, but if I had to guess, they probably won't. Goodbye. Hi everyone, I know that I've looked better. You don't have to tell me. I got microneedled, obviously, yesterday, you guys saw that. And then I got my nails done, but I was going, actually the whole experience of me getting my nails done was insane, okay? Let me back up, let me back up to microneedling. Um, we went significantly harder, as you can see, under my eyes than we normally do because I have hollow under eyes, if you can see. I don't have dark circles, but they're hollow. And so I was like, I would like to do something about this. So she said we would go a little bit harder under my under eyes and it would allow my um, collagen production to build up more so the fat pads underneath would plump up so I wouldn't look so like, but you know, you know, you know. So that's why I'm bruised underneath. I haven't been in a fight yet, but um, you know, so that's what's going on. So then I had to walk around the whole day with my face looking like this, except it was a million times more red. And also the wind was so chafing. It's not, it's not painful to get it done. It's just, um, feels like you have been wind chafed. It's uncomfortable, you know, but then the next day you're fine. You just look a little crazy. So today is Thursday. It is 1223. I've worked and done emails this morning. I went on a walk. I worked out and did back and biceps this morning. Um, I have laminated my eyebrows this morning. I edited a video, got it uploaded, which would be the Charlotte Tilbury, um, video. Back to the nail story. So I got my nails done yesterday. Can you even see this? Let me focus. Let me focus. So I got my nails done at Anthony Vince in Lexington. I've heard such good things about Anthony Vince. I will never go there again. 
Um, I thought it was very unprofessional. The receptionist at Anthony Vance was really rude. And everybody in there, like, as soon as you walk in, she's like, hello, how can I help you? What are you here for? Like, very rushed. And getting your nails is supposed to be, like, an experience and, like, a like a fun thing, you know? And, like, a nice relaxing thing. And everybody there acted like I was on their nerves. And, um, you know, like, I was just a big burden to them. And I was like, I'm a paying customer also. My nails don't even look like I showed her, like, like the picture that I showed her. Um, and she told me, like, in the middle of me getting a manicure, she was like, you pay me now. I was like, oh, I want my nails done. And she was like, if you want me to paint your nails, you have to pay me. I've never had that done at any nail salon I've ever been to. You always get your nails done and then you pay. And, like, she acted like I was an idiot. And I was just like, the vibes are off. The prices are off. The nails, not that cute. The receptionist, rude. I was like, I'll never be back here. Anthony Vince, you get a zero out of 10. And they even asked, they were like, would you like to do a customer review? Were you satisfied? And I was like, mm, I wasn't satisfied, actually. Thank you very much. I was not satisfied at all. And they won't be going back. So if you're contemplating going to Anthony Vince, save your money and go elsewhere. Um, well, at least that's the one in Lexington. They could be better at other locations. But uh, yeah, anyways. Those are my thoughts, and I never really talk bad about stuff or places or anything like that because not my personal vibe, but if I'm spending money and I'm a nice, kind person and I'm being nice and I'm being kind, then uh, I expect the same. Okay, thank you. Anyways, I need to go work. There's not that much I can do today, to be honest with you, because uh, my tubes still aren't here. So, I'm just waiting around. And sending emails and doing all of the collaboration things. My eyebrows look crazy. I did tint in this morning. And in this lighting, it's not it. It's not it. Okay, anyways. Hello, everyone. I'm driving. Is this even recording? Hi, everybody. So, I'm driving. Kind of. I'm stopped at a red light now. Um, And I was like, now it just seems like the perfect time to end the vlog. So, I stopped. I actually left my house for once in my life. And I'm going to go to the post office and drop off a ton of orders and I was just like, I stopped and got me a protein shake from a little local um, health protein shake place. And I got a uh, the Dutch chocolate. It's pretty good. I really want to try the mint chocolate next time. Or the peanut butter. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that I would update everybody and say, as part of this healthcare vlog, go do something nice for yourself. Go take yourself out to get a smoothie get a coffee whatever it is because honestly just me leaving my house put me in such a better mood and I feel so much better about life so that's the end of the vlog people are watching me and I feel very awkward if you enjoyed the vlog and if you like these kind of videos why did I stutter if you like these kind of videos please make sure to like and subscribe before you leave because it means the world to me and uh, that'd be really nice so thank you so much have a lovely day